Let's talk about the case for a second. Uh, much has been made through this weekend because to the best of our knowledge, for the very first time, a robot with a bomb was used to take out somebody by a police department. Chief David Brown has made no bones about what happened and the fact that he would do it again, but it's a very interesting scenario moving forward, obviously, when we look at law enforcement in this country and how we handle situations. Our Joel Thomas is in Fort Worth this afternoon for us, looking into that very question, more about the robot, more about the decision that went into making the ultimate decision and taking out Micah Johnson. Joel? Yeah, Doug, this is a catalog actually put out by Northrop Grumman, the military contractor who makes the robot that's used by DPD. I've put it up here so you can see it. Now, this was designed to bust in doors and kill if necessary. You can see this drivetrain right here. That was designed to be strong enough to break down a door, and the explosives would have been attached to this arm here, which would extend outward. Now, we've seen the device in action before as it breached a suspicious car window about a year ago, as you can see here. The department has used the bomb robot uh, since 2008 for all manner of operations, usually taking out suspicious or hazardous packages. But this is the first operation, as Doug said, that we know about targeting a suspect. Some wonder if it was an ethical line that was crossed by police using high-tech military equipment. But Police Chief Brown tells us it was the right move in such a dangerous situation. I do it again to save our officers' lives. To use the robot, uh, I would use any tool necessary to save our officers' lives. And I'm not ashamed to say it. Robot cost the department about $151,000. Amazingly, the arm of the robot was damaged in the deadly blast, but the robot survived. Kaylee?